Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Styles and Raphael. Um, I just want to say, stop being a punching bag. What I'm trying to say is, you could be the type of person that's always there for people. And they do something to hurt you, like they, you know, not physically punch you, slap you, kick you, throw you, whatever. You're being their punching bag. You could be the nicest thing to them and they still tear you down. And for that like for that matter, you're a punching bag. You are a person they go to because they know you're willing to help sacrifice your pain or whatever you want to call it to make yourself or make them happy. And you know, you need the positivity in your life. To be happy, you got to surround yourself with people who are the nicest thing to you. To people who make you feel good about yourself. To the people who lift you up every day. You don't, you should not be around negativity. Because that's going to make you not want to be around, not want to have a life. It's going to make you believe that you deserve this stuff. And you don't. You're And you just... Like me, for example, like I like I've already said before, like I need to work on it because, you know, I want to help people because I know what it's like to feel like a waste of space, empty, useless, pathetic. But, you know, I am working on that. I won't lie. Like I'm trying to work on that every day. You know, there's writing and there's talking to people. But, you know, if you're that type of person who's always doing stuff for people, stop it. Stop being a punching bag. You don't need the negativity people in life. You don't need that. You need to become a cinder block. And, you know, that's probably like a weird thing, but you know, it's like the first thing that came to my head. A cinder block is someone who is strong. Cinder blocks are strong because, you know, they know how to say no. They know how to keep things up and together. But you guys need to know, you need to avoid the negativity. You need to avoid people who mess with your head, who call you useless, not good enough, pathetic. You know, don't let them mess with your head. Don't take anything rude people to heart because that's just going to drag you down even worse. Stop. Just don't. Don't be around the people who repeatedly hurt you every second of the day or any, if they just hurt you, like do things that you've asked them not to, you need to get away from that person. You need to get away from people who expect you to put them first when they don't do that to you. You need to stay away from people who won't apologize without meaning it. You need to stay away from people who act like who act that they who act like they're the victim by their behavior they act like oh it's not my fault you know you know you know sometimes like no matter like it is it could not be your fault but you know you still should still take responsibility of your actions and you need to stay away from ungrateful people because it's just not good. You could give somebody something. Like, you could be their punching bag. And they would still stab you in the back. Punch, kick you, slap you. Whatever. You need to t stay away. You need to stay away from people who talk bad about everybody. Who want attention. Will do whatever they can to be self-centered or have attention. And you, most of all, you need to stay away from people who just hurt you. You need to stay away from people who are not inspiring, who are uninspiring. Those type of people that you should be around are the people who inspire you. Those people that make you want to help people. Those people who will listen to you. You need to stop being a punching bag. You need to learn to grow from that. And how do you do that? Work on yourself. Think about yourself. It's not selfish to put yourself in front of anybody. It's not selfish to put your mental health before you help people. It's not selfish to get out of a relationship if you do not love yourself. You need to be happy 
and love yourself before you could make others happy, before you love other people. And, you know, I've already said, you know, I need to work on my self-love. I need to work on my own happiness. But we all have ways where we can cope with it. It's writing, talking to people, having yourself around positive people that make you feel great about yourself. Um, but that's it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, any video ideas are welcome. Um, leave those down in the comment box below. If you don't, forget y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. If you don't, forget y'all. And I've already said that like twice, but forget y'all. See y'all tomorrow.